You're stupid. Well, you're stupider. Punk. Stand dry and others fear the pain. Chocolate rain! <gasps> Baby wait, boy! Wait, wait, wait the hold that song! Thing. Ah, that was a grand song. So it's melody, you remember it. But now we're ready with the new and greater Chocolate Melody. So new, in fact, that it's a year ahead. So off with the new. On with the old. You have it. Awesome old. Everybody jump! 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 You off your seat! Jump! Hey, lucky star, they're at idol of the airways, that riotous rage of radio, jazz. That's so That's so terrible. I want to puke in my hands and eat it. The best looking and most gifted of the new leading men. The boy who is rapidly speeding to stardom. Link. And comedy, oh, the grandest clowns you ever met. Mad, dizzy, delirious, my bu buddy, Link. Ugly. Than ever. What is this song all about? Can't figure any lyrics out. I don't know what. All right, all right, all right. All right. Hey, Luigi. So it's Francis. Rob. Malaysian flag. <clears throat> Dear pesky plumbers, the Koopalings and I have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom. The princess is now a permanent guest at one of my seven Koopa hotels. I dare you to find her if you can. Josh!
hideous imitation of the one true bar, Jesus' bar. So you may ask yourself, what is the difference between a Snickers bar and a Jesus is the only way bar? Nothing! Did you know that 1% of Snickers consumers admit to having sinned within 100 weeks of eating a bar? But it gets worse. Nearly 1% of convicted criminals in the U.S. admit to having at least once before consumed a product. So what does all this mean? Are these statistics merely coincidence, or do they all point to the one truth that most of us refuse to face? The truth that says it's Satan's bars are, in fact, Snickers bars. Pastor Gus Booth of Borough Community Church is a strong believer in this idea, so you can only imagine his shock after finding his son with a bar late summer 2012. I'm a pastor. And a journal. I just don't know how to continue to face my congregation every week after what just happened. The Booth household is not the first to be attacked by these malicious candy bars. In fact, the rise of Snickers consumers has skyrocketed since they were first introduced to the public and it's only getting worse. <laughs> Sir Arthur Holmes is sadly correct in his statements. Christian culture have been slowly clawing their way into modern Snickers bars. Within the last few years, church services have been smuggled into Snicker bars. Salads have been found at church picnics and other various church-related social gatherings. Salads have even been found in certain church youth group canteens. A celebrity gossip magazine published on March 26, 10,000 youth had a picture of rap sensation Jizz holding what appeared to be a half-eaten disappointment. Pastor Gus Booth of Warwick Community Church immediately announced deep disappointment. Deep disappointment. Just one week after the announcement of the boycott, however, G. G. made this statement. Bad stuff. On April 4th, 2010, Booth lifted the boycott against Wiz, and in recent years has even allowed him to make a few appearances at Warwick Community Church during his sermons. I can totally understand that Booth guy, you know, boycotting me, but there's some hard feelings. I'm holding a grudge. In fact, he's got great teeth. Not Unfortunately, not every snicker snacking situation can be solved this easily, and many can become out of hand within just a matter of days. Parents should be strongly urged to warn their children about the dangers of salads before it becomes too late as it did in the Booth household. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you that you hear about all the time on the TV or the news, and you just think, that stuff never happens around here. Not in my house. Well, it did happen at my house. And it could, and it could happen at your door. Yeah. Your which or which one do you think is which? Pepsi's a little bit more syrupy. <laughs> <laughs>